Okay, welcome back. And next, we're going to take a look at these three blocks of information here. Uh, these are calling info blocks, and these are uh, three different styles of elements. You can see there's a dark with light text, there is a light with dark text, and then there is um, kind of a centered align with a header, some text, and a call to action button. So these would be something like a like a full width call out. Um, let's say a lot of people use these for things like newsletters or uh, special information uh, that they can get more. So as someone's scrolling down the page, you see this block of text with a call to action specifically going all the way across the page. And you click on the, uh, the call to action that takes you to maybe a landing page or another page uh, that has very specific information on it, sometimes time sensitive information. So you want people to see it as they go down the page. So let's take a look at the first one. The first one is the dark with light text on it. Uh, this starts out with a gray with a white and a nice red button. Uh, let's take a look at our block parameters for this element. So we can show or hide the title. We can show or hide the text. We can give it a background image, a background color, or a background video so we could change this uh, to a different color that might be more pleasing to us. Let's see, maybe like a, a ghost button. Um, which is not a great choice, but it's okay. Um, let's see, our other ones, we could insert a background image. Again, we can give this a parallax effect and we could create an overlay over the image as well. Uh, choose the color of that overlay. So several things that you can do in this, and if, if we were able to scroll down farther, um, let's say we insert a couple of blocks of text, you'll be able to see the parallax effect uh, pretty well. So you can see how it, it moves over the top of the image in the background. So this block would be like that, and you could put in some sort of uh, <clears throat> contextual image maybe in the background or a pattern. And you could also put in a background video and just know that that video is going to be pretty small. This block is not very tall, so it's not like putting a background video here where you're going to see a nice big video. Uh, you're only going to see a, a section of the video here. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's uh, keep those blocks of text. We'll just take this one off. Let's look at the next one. This is a white one. <clears throat> so this has white with just uh, maybe two thirds across with the text and one third with the button. Um, you can see that there's not, not a lot of room here uh, for the headline. This block is different in that it has a different color and it's not showing the text underneath. It's only showing the title. <clears throat> and so this is exactly like the one before. It's just that it's been pre-made to look with a white background, dark text, no text underneath, only a headline and a button. Uh, but all the other same <clears throat> parameters apply. You could put a video or you could put an image or you could change the color. So it's exactly just like the one that we did. <clears throat> It's just that it's a, uh, a different style, so you can see here. They're exactly the same, uh, only this one has the text already uh, by default shown, and it's got a black background with white text. And the last one is this one here. So whenever we show it, we can see that it also has a white background, and it has a nice header, has some text, and it has a call to action all center aligned on the page. Um, you'll find that most of the same <clears throat> parameters are going to exist for this one, except this one has the option of a subtitle. And you can choose to show or to hide the text. You can choose to show or hide the button. And then we have our regular uh, choosing a background image, background color, or background video. So let's say you really wanted to call this out. <clears throat> you might choose a different color 
with white text. And then uh, maybe an orange button. So you could really, you could see where if you put this up here and you were scrolling through the page, whoa, pow, you can see that that really stands out. Or that you could also use this for a kind of a call to action. Um, let's say this was an article title and you wanted to set off a subtitle, but you didn't want to put the whole article on this page. You only wanted to give a little snippet and then people click this and go to the article. So you might say, <clears throat> read more or continue reading. <clears throat> and then this will be like a little uh, teaser for the article. And then they would click here and they would continue reading the article and it would be uh, similar to an article uh, that we just showed you in a previous video where it would be by you and it was posted on this date. So lots of different little uh, ways that you can think about these content blocks. Um, and that's that's going to be again for you to decide how does this how do these general blocks fit with the type of content you have and the type of information and the way you want to present it on your website. But these are the information blocks and they're very handy and they're very flexible for many different things. Next up we're going to tackle the testimonials and we'll go through the testimonial elements together. So I hope you join me for that one too.